As any Dead by Daylight player knows at this point, the game has been suffering from a serious rubber banding issue lately. But what is rubber banding? Can you fix it? Let's find out. Rubber banding is a term originally used in single-player games, mostly racing games, where your opponents behind you would randomly speed up to the point of even passing you, after having maybe even a huge lead on them. In online games, though, the meaning of the term completely changes. What we refer to as rubber banding is when your character, in DBD's case your survivor or killer, does a stuttering motion, seemingly teleporting back or staying in place for a second. Normally, this is caused by us, the players, having a connection with high latency or high ping to the game server. This creates a problem of communication. The server gets an update on your position a set amount of times every second. This is called the tick rate, meaning how many times per second the server requests and updates your position. DVD has a tick rate of 60 with 60 FPS frames per second being the average frame rate the game runs with VSync on PC and on the latest gen consoles. You send the info to the server once per frame, meaning each frame has a new update to and from the server. Now that we know what ticks are, the main cause of rubber banding reveals itself. If your internet connection isn't good enough to, communi to communicate with the server within 1 60th of a second, that creates a delay in your location's update. The server may receive your location later than intended, making it see your current location as impossible, and in turn tries to correct it by moving you. This actually used to happen a lot in Dead by Daylight back when the connection was peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning the players connected to each other instead of connecting to a server. But Sumu, you'll say, my connection is fine, and besides, it's happening to everyone, even streamers. Is everyone's connections bad? The answer is no. This time around, rubber banding is behavior's fault. Shocker. Most likely an error in their netcode. After much research, there's only one thing I found that could explain this problem, and it's technically both our and behavior's fault. Remember how we talked about the tick rate and how it's tied to the frame rate? This could explain why players on PC with higher frame rates than 60 experience this rubber banding. If, for example, you play at 120 FPS, which is coincidentally the max on PC for some reason, there's 60 frames without an update from the server, meaning your game guesses what should happen there, with information from the last few frames. This had been working fine until now, but Behavior probably changed some settings in their server and messed this up. Keep in mind this is speculation, since Behavior won't actually tell us why this issue occurs. Thank you all for watching, I hope you learned something today, and uh, make sure to subscribe for more. See you on Twitch every day at 4pm EEST, bye!